just turned around in a dime. Yes, we have a set statement here. All of you know this set statement. And this just didn't see the daylight for five consecutive days. And it closed at the low of the day. It just closed at the dead low, which again is something for us to be very careful about because this means somebody is really getting choked on the trade. So unless we are not going to short the CAD, unless it trades below the, let's say the 95.70, let's say 95.70. So this is going to be our short point. It is not a structure point, this is just a selling point. So unless it goes below the 95.75, we're not going to touch it on the short side, as far as the dollar cat. And I'm going to look for the intraday to find an entry point to actually be a buyer of. Look at this. Look at the capitulation here. I mean, this is one, two, three, just all the way there. So. buying this baby since it's our uh, deal loony I will not buy it unless it gets above the 96.24 that would be our first buy signal so for the dollar cat we are going to be sellers of the dollar cat below Yes. This is where we're going to go short. And we're going to go long above 96.24. And if I go short below 95.75, I am not going to give it any room. Because I don't want to get caught. So if it gets below it here, you, you just want to give it a few pips if it comes back up. But if it breaks the 95.75, do uh, you mean if it doesn't capitulate, that's the biggest warning sign that you have to start getting out. It needs to capitulate below that. If I'm going to buy it above 96.24, I can place my stop right at the 96 level you can risk about 24 pips so your stop is going to be around here and your structure long is the 9709 and my structural short This was the dollar cat from the week before. You see that the uh, the structure short is 98.22. If you did actually take it from that, because the structure point is always a sell signal or a buy signal, if one of you was following it, I mean that is the 98.22. You would have taken about a very nice 300 pip move. The downside. On but anyway, so uh, let's put the 93, 94.53. That is our structure short. So for the uh, dollar cat, we're going to buy it above 96.24. If we do, we're going to place our stock 24 pips away at 96. Uh, and 
the structure, the uh, long point is the uh, 97 or 9. On the short side, we're going to go short below 97, 95, uh, 75. We are not going to give it too much room, so our stop is going to be the 95, 75. You need to see capitulation as soon as it breaks below the, the gap, below the low point. If it doesn't or it comes back above it, this is where you want to think about getting out. And the structure short is the 94.33. Okay? That is the dollar cat. Alright? Any questions on the dollar cat, guys?